to the normal copula. So we know that uh, to define a copula what we do is we take the F which is the joint CDF at the That is exactly what we do to get specific copulas and in this case use each of the Fi's as the normal mu i sigma i squared distributions and the F as the k dimensional the multivariate normal with the mean vector mu and the covariance matrix sigma where they are related in such a way that uh, you know, the ith component of mu is mu i and the diagonal such as sigma. So, the, 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 the marginals should match. The marginals of this are these. So, start with the multivariate normal and then evaluate it at, at these marginals and the copula, corresponding copula you get is the normal copula and how the normal copula looks. Uh, there are all the derivations and details you, you plug in the distribution of f and so on and do that uh, so I am not copying those things but I will write down the form of the uh, density. So what, what the density means is you have the copula which is this f of things and then if you take the k times derivatives of the C, whatever you get that we will call the density. And in this case the density exists because everything is multivariate uh, density exists there mm, continuous. So, for the normal the density is you can write down explicitly what it is. Uh, this is the density copula with C it is difficult to differentiate between small and capital. So, this is I do this with a psi just hold on ok. Ah. So, what you need is not the sigma, but from the sigma you need to go to the correlation matrix and we will call that the psi matrix. So, what does the correlation mean? That uh, for all the diagonals are 1 and the off diagonals are whatever sigma was sigma i j, but you divide it by the sigma i sigma j. So, if this matrix was sigma 1 squared sigma i squared and of diagonals for sigma i j, then you take the of diagonals each of diagonal and divide it by the corresponding uh, square root of the diagonals the standard deviation essentially. So, that is called the correlation. So, this is the correlation matrix that has all 1's here and the correlations there and it, this is in terms of that correlation matrix. So, this is to the power minus half exponential minus half and then there is another term here I will introduce what that is transpose I inverse minus the identity matrix and again this zeta where the j is capital phi inverse of u j ok. So, each component wise we take the capital phi inverse capital phi is the CDF of univariate normal the standard notation this is the 
C D F of normal 0 1. So, everywhere we take the inverse of the C D F as expected, but the way the form of the function comes out to be that times correlation matrix minus inverse minus the, in the identity matrix and and the quadratic form with that thing. So, divided by the corresponding i and j, i and j, right. right. Uh, we will, yeah, we have not talked what correlation is. So, that is the definition of correlation that we have said that, that the covariance is sigma ij. So, if you divide by the co divide the covariance by the standard deviations, then what you get is called the correlation. Maybe I will just state that anyway, that is not in. So, covariance of x y is the expectation of x y minus e x e y that the form be used or maybe we use this form x minus e x y minus e y right. Covariance we define this way. So, this is sigma i j this we did when we were doing a multiplet normal sigma i squared is expectation x minus e x squared this is sigma j squared not x y but x i x j x j x i x i x j now, if you look at sigma i j over sigma i sigma j, that is denoted by rho i j, that is the correlation between x i and x j. Okay. So, uh, with all the different notations explained, the final result is this that the density of the normal copula looks like this. <coughs>